We're live. What is up, gamers? Hey, <laughs> it, that's just a, um, a movie, this uh, Twitch account. We're not playing games here. So welcome <laughs> to the third annual, annual Scene Talk Award nominee announcement with me, Johnny, and with Laura. She's helping me Hello. with the announcement today. And this announcement is like Kobe Bryant. We're flying high and crashing deep. That's very, very good heute. Uh, today, sorry. <laughs> um, what? <laughs> I, I guess the Kobe Bryant gag was a bit too much. <laughs> well, Kobe <Anyways>. Bryant. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> We're announcing the uh, nominees for the third annual Scene Talk Awards. Um, this is about to go 30 to 45 minutes. And yeah, I think we're going to start. Okay. Do also, this is my first time. Yeah, this doing this. Bear with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. Oh. Yeah, okay. Let's start. <laughs> let's start. Okay, let's go. Do you want to start or should I start? Ah, uh, you can start. Okay. Let's start with the first announcement. In the category best hairstyling and makeup, 109 people voted in these categories. And um, wait, I have to change something. It's important to see us. So the first Category is backup and hairstyle, and the nominees are Jojo Rabbit, Little Women, Birds of Prey, and the um, fab fabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn, Bombshell, and 1917. Yeah, nice. <laughs> it's a surprise that B Birds of Prey got a nomination. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> um, yeah. 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 Right. Oh. Okay. okay, next category. Laura. Next category would be costume design. And the nominees are Jojo Rabbit, <laughs> Little Women, 19 oh, Emma, Knives Out, and 1917. Just read it like it's in the um in Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> I'll I will. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. The next category is um, production design, if I'm right. And the nominees are mm. Jojo Rabbit, Mank, Tenet, Knives Out, and 1917. Very excited for the Jojo Rabbit on nominations. Yeah, Jojo Rabbit get a lot of nominations. <laughs> nice. Spoiler. I'm happy not to be biased. Okay. <laughs> okay, now the nominees for sound mixing. Yeah. We have Mac, 1917, Tenet, Sound of Metal, and Monos. I'm very hyped about Monos, that it gets the recognition <laughs> it deserves. Yes. It's a fucking awesome movie. So, the next category is... Wait, I need to see. The next category is Sound Editing. And the nominees are Jojo Rabbit, Mank, Tenet, Sound of Metal, and 1917. Nice. <laughs> it, yeah. I'll, also happy, also happy for the for the next Jojo Rabbit nomination, and also Sound of Metal. I really Sound like that. Is... I thought the sound editing was amazing. Yeah, Sound of Metal got <laughs> uh, is is such. Uh, um, um, I don't know what I want to say. <laughs> I forget it. It was great. <laughs> it was fucking great. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Christian channel. Okay. No swearing. Okay. <laughs> now we go on with the editing. Yeah. We have Trial of the Chicago 7, 1917, Jojo Rabbit, Uncut Gems, and Monos. Right. Once again, and I'm, Monos. Once again Monos and once again Jojo Rabbit and finally the Trial yes. of the Chicago 7. Yes. So. And the next category is one of my favorites. Um, it's be for the best cin cinematography achievement in cinematography, and the nominees are Monos, I'm Thinking of Ending Things, Tenet, Mank, and 1917. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, now okay. uh, a category I really like, but I don't like the VOD stuff. <laughs> Just like the movies well, they're nominated. Well, I got the VOD exclusive nominations, which are Uncut Gems by Netflix, Sound of Metal by Amazon Prime, The Trial of the Chicago 7 by Netflix, I'm Thinking of Ending Things by Netflix once again, and Soul by Disney Plus. Yeah. I, I, by the way, I, I don't know if I uh, I can talk about Soul because of the um, mm. um, uh, embargo, but I don't care. This movie is one of Disney's all-time bests. Holy shit, this movie is fucking great. So, oh, I'm really excited to watch it whenever I can finally watch it. It's it's very, very good. So the next category is for best documentation, and the nominees are The Social Dilemma, American Murder, The Family Next Door, Atlita A, Dick Johnson is Dead, and For Sama. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Very nice. I didn't um, watch Dick no. Johnson, but a lot of people did. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have got now the nominees for visual effects, and those are 1917, The Invisible Man, Tenet, Underwater, and Mank. It's a surprise that Mank got a nomination. It doesn't look like it has very much visual yeah. effects. Okay, next nomination. Yeah. <laughs> Bitte? What? What do you say? No, uh, nothing. Okay. <laughs> uh, and the next category is for synchronization. We're only voted for movies in the original language. And the nominees are Onward. Over the Moon, Soul, The One and Only Ivan, and the Spongebob movie Sponge on the Run. Nice. I'm very excited about Spongebob. I love this movie. Me too. <laughs> I loved it. Very happy got a nomination. Yeah. Okay, okay next now on the, to the next category for biopic. We have Trial of the Chicago 7, Mank, Hamilton, A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, and Harriet. It's a very surprise Again. that Hamilton got a nomination in biopic. I, I, I am very <laughs> positively surprised that he they that, got a nomination for biopic. I, I, I don't think that, it, that it, this movie is uh, is actually a biopic. It's it's a musical or I don't or, or I something else. I don't but think so. <laughs> I didn't like, think it's a biopic. I would not go for it for historical accuracy, but yeah. hey. But it's very good. <laughs> it's a really good musical. It got his recognition once again. And the next category is for best comedy, one of my favorites. The nominees are Jojo Rabbit, Knives Out, Borat's subsequent movie film, The King of Satan Island, and a surprise, Eurovision Song Contest, The, the Legend of Fire Saga. <laughs> so very surprised yeah. that this got a I, I don't. I didn't <laughs> really think that this movie got... Um, yeah hype or something else I, I thought everyone hates this movie yeah i also me. kind of forgot about it <laughs> but i'm happy the king of state island was there yeah. as we watched it the last day yeah few days okay now the nominees for best action movie are 1917 tenet bad boys for life extraction and gansa kimbo yeah gansa kimbo is very strange but it was a really weird one. <laughs> it it was weird, weird, but it's it's very entertaining. It's very entertaining. Yeah, it and was it's very funny. And it was really good to see. It, it was yeah, and it was <laughs> very was bloody. Funny. It was yeah, yeah. And the next category is my personal favorite. This uh, ex with German movies and uh, best picture. It's the best for the best drama, and the nominees are Little Women. Sound of Metal, Dark Waters, The Assistant, and Berlin Alexanderplatz. Really excited for it's, yeah, The Assistant. I that the, the Assistant got in. I was yeah. really happy. I, I got really happy, and I, also I'm, Berlin Alexanderplatz. It's, it's such a good yeah, one. It's it's very good. It's it's one of the best German movies I I've seen in a very long time. Next to System Crasher. System Crasher was very, yeah. 
bit better, but Berlin Alexanderplatz is one of the best movies since um, 2000, 2010. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now on to one of my favorite categories, horror or thriller. We have I'm Thinking of Ending Things, Tenet, The Invisible Man, Underwater, and The Devil All the Time. That's a surprise. I think every yeah, every categorization, <laughs> every cat, a cat, category, sorry, categorization, category has his um, surprise. Everything. Yeah. Hamilton at biopic, Guns Akimbo with action, uh, but uh, uh, the assistant to drama, and now the devil all the time. Um, I thought uh, Berlin Alexanderplatz will get a nomination here too, because yeah. it's, it's a thriller uh, or a drama. Um, but the devil all the time, very very surprising. <laughs> the next category is for I don't know how to say in English. It's for uh, movies with an with an uh, with PG thirteen or less. In German, it's uh, the Jugendfilm, and um, the nominees are Onward, Jojo Rabbit, Soul, Weathering with You, and Over the Moon. I didn't saw Weathering with You, uh, but. Everything, everyone says this movie is fucking great and uh, I would it like to, really to see great. it. Yeah. I saw it in the cinemas as it came out. It was a really nice without, experience. Back without then. Uh, <laughs> me. I, I, you all from I'm our... I'm sorry! You, you, well, <laughs> everyone from, from our um, 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 college or... or, or uh, yeah, university. Uni uh, like, university yeah, we was what they are, except me. <laughs> I wanted to see. We all were in the group. We, it, it's not like we kept it secret from you. Yeah, but I, I didn't have <laughs> much money to watch it, actually. Oh, um, but I, I really want to see it. I really want to see I'm it. sorry. So, yeah. We'll catch up one day. Oh, yeah. So the next category is for. Um, like once again, one of my favorites for best original song, and the nominees are "Carry Me with You" from Onward, "Husavik" from Eurovision Song Contest, "The Legend of Fire Saga," "Stand Up" from Harriet, "Feels Like Home" from All Together Now, and "My Shot" from Hamilton. Nice, very happy for Hamilton again. And for Harriet. <laughs> yes. I love it. <laughs> and the surprise okay. all together now got in. I didn't expect that. Yeah. Okay, all right. Next. Now for original score. Yes. We have once again Hamilton, Tenet, 1917, Mank, and Soul. Right. And <laughs> Hamilton got in uh, got another nomination and Soul too. It's it's Yes. I love this movie it's it's very very great um feldo is saying in 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 uh, the chat that in german also when eurovision is gewinnt is polen often that means in english he's very angry if it wins <laughs> <laughs> um and he's my co-moderator oh, at uh, um <laughs> at um at a at a at an event at the awards, yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very nervous that I'm going to um, announce these movies in English. That's I, I I don't I don't can focus on talking very precisely. Oh. <laughs> it's very very strange. <laughs> okay, the next sorry. category is for best. Wait, best German movie. Am I right? I'm right. For best mm -hmm. German movie, and the nominees are Berlin Alexanderplatz, Nazis und Goldmund. Pelikan Blut, Was wir wollten und Undine. Very, very good yes. movies. Yeah, unsurprising the Berlin Alexanderplatz yeah. got a nomination it's, it's, it's here. It's not surprising, it's the best. I, 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 the, yeah. it got, <laughs> uh, actually, it got the most nomination in this category. Everyone oh. nominated this movie. Everyone <laughs> in this category. All right, now we've got nominees for the best foreign language film, which are Monos from Argentina, uh, Bacurao from Brazil, pardon me if I, if I can pronounce this, Le Miserable 
from Fr from France, Corpus Christi from Poland, and Sputnik from Russia. That's a surprise. A horror <laughs> movie in best foreign language. It's this movie is just like life with Jake Gyllenhaal or like uh, uh, Alien. Oh, wow. That's that's very interesting. Um, <laughs> the next category is animated feature, and I guess you you know which movie is nominated. Uh, the next as uh, the, the nominees are Onward, the SpongeBob movie Sponge on the Run, Over the Moon, Soul, and Weathering with You. No surprises no. here. No. <laughs> All deserved. Oh, nice. Okay, all very nice movies. Yeah. Ex especially Soul and SpongeBob. I love SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hilarious. All right. <laughs> Now we have got the nominees for dialogues, and those are Trial of the Chicago Seven, Odd Cut Gems, I'm Thinking of Ending Things, Berlin Alexanderplatz, and Jojo Rabbit. Once again, surprising that Berlin Alexanderplatz got a nomination. <laughs> Well, it did have really nice dialogue, it and is. well, I don't want to head into spoilers yeah. here, but well, you should, you all should watch it. It's yes, it's, it's very, very great. And the next category is for best screenplay, and spoiler, there's a very big surprise in there. Um, because uh, well, it's not in there. The surprise is that the movie didn't get a nomination, but everyone thinks it got one. <laughs> And the nominees in uh, um, um, for best screenplay is I uh, are sorry the Trial of the Chicago Seven, Uncut Gems, Knives Out, Little Women, and Jojo Rabbit. And the surprise here is Tenet didn't get a nomination. Oh, that's very interesting. I thought it got one. It will get one, but it didn't, and that's interesting. Well. Well, the others did deserve it, though. Like, yeah. yeah. Okay. Now we Next. got, but for that we got the nominees in blockbuster, which are Tenet, 1917, Bad Boys for Life, Birds of Prey, and Soul. We changed the rules for this categorization uh, category, category. Category. Why am I saying categorization? Why? <laughs> What is wrong with me? Um. For this ca uh, category, we changed the rules. Um, last year, they only was able to nominate movies with a, a 100 million budget, but now, uh, because of the coronavirus, um, movies with a, a budget from 60 million or 70 uh, uh, million are um, get a nomination here, and that's why Bad Boys or Birds of Prey got a nomination. So the next category is for. Yeah, that's very surprising. Worst movie of the year, a new category. We um, that's the first time this category is in, and the nominees are 365 Days, Artemis Fowl, Doom Annihilation, Mulan, and Doolittle. They are all very, very bad. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> They are. Uh. Uh. Oh well. <laughs> okay, now we got the nominees for child actor slash actress. We have Roman Griffin Davis from Jojo Rabbit, Archie Yates also from Jojo Rabbit, Millie Bobby Brown for Enola Holmes, Jaden Martell for Knives Out, and Anna Mioski right. from Light of My Life. <laughs> And that's a surprise. Um, <laughs> I I didn't thought that anyone ever has seen this movie. It's very very great. It's the second movie from Casey Affleck, um, oh. and uh, he's uh, playing the um, the leading role, and it is very very good. You should all watch oh, it. I... Yeah, and... I sadly didn't get to watch it. But <laughs> and the next category is. For Best Supporting Actress, and the nominees are Scarlett Johansson for Jojo Rabbit, Florence Pugh for Little Women, Amanda Seyfried for Mank, 
Margot Robbie for Bombshell and Jella Hase for Berlin Alexanderplatz. Ah, huh, interesting. It is. I didn't thought Margot Robbie will get in. She's not actually not that as good yeah. as, her, as I thought she was. Quite surprising, but yeah. well, the nominees will die, I guess. <laughs> I didn't choose, right. choose them. <laughs> now we have supporting actor. We have Albrecht Schuch for Berlin Alexanderplatz. Robert Pattinson for Tenet. Ben Charles Chapman for 1917, Tom Hanks for A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, and Mark Rylance for Trials of the Chicago 7. Albrecht Schuch got his nomination! Woo! <laughs> uh, uh, that's very, very, very good. That's very good. He did, he did, a, did a really good job. I, I didn't know him before since I don't watch a lot of German movies, but He's in System he Crusher really too. convinced me that. He's in System Crusher 2. In what? In System Crusher. In System oh, no. yeah. Yeah, I also saw. Yeah. yeah. And he's uh, very, very good in it too. He's very good in yeah. every movie. I, I wish I could work with him together one day. He's, he's. I, I think he's the best, the best actor we have in Germany. He's, he's very, very, oh, wow. very good. And the next category is for best act, also for actress in a leading role, and the nominees are Sersha Ronan in Little Women. Julia Garner in The Assistant, Cynthia Erivo for Harriet, a surprise, Viola Davis for Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, and Charlize Theron for Bombshell. The, nice. the, one of the <laughs> only nominations for Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Oh, sad. <laughs> well, well, it's Viola Davis, so it's... Sir. <laughs> She's always good. Yes. All right, now we have got actor in a leading role. We have John David Washington for Tenet, Riz Ahmed for Sound of Metal, Adam Sandler for Uncut Gems, Gary Oldman for Mank, and Chadwick Boseman for Marini's Black Bottom. Yeah. I watched it today and Viola Davis and Chadwick Boseman are phenomenal. In this movie they're they're really and and it's his very best performance in his career um and the best movie he can get after his die yeah it's sad rest in peace chadwick um and the next category is for best cast and the nominees are knives out little women jojo rabbit tenet and the trial of the Chicago Seven. No big surprises here. They no. all have phenomenal casts. Yeah. It was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> not it's, much to say. Ne, not much to say. They they're all very very good, and they have they're a, all good. A, a very very perfect um, cast. Yes. All right. Now we have got the directing debut, and we have. Alejandro Landes for Monos, Nat Natalie Erika James for Relic, Darius Martyr for Sound of Metal, Lady Lee for Le Miserable, oh, or largely. I'm I sorry. don't know, <laughs> but <laughs> he's so nominated. <laughs> but well, well, for Le Miserable and Andrew Patterson for The Vast of Night. It's interesting. Um, very very small movies, all of them. Yeah. And but also a really good one. Yeah, very good one. Relic, my favorite. Uh, any Sound of Metal is my favorite. Sorry, but Relic. <laughs> um, and the next category is a new one, and it's for a directing a director in uh, a director female, um, and the nominees are Greta Gerwig for Little Women, Kitty Green for The Assistant, Ulrike Köffler for Was Sie Wollten, Casey Lemons for Harriet and the only nomination, Elisa Hitman for Never, Rarely, Sometimes, Always. Mm, true. Fairly surprised Never, Rarely, Sometimes, Always didn't yeah. get a lot of other nominations. That's sad. I but... really nominated very, very often. Yeah. But I'm the only one <laughs> who nominated it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, no surprise with Greta Gerwig, obviously. Yeah. She got the most nomination. 
Yeah. <laughs> and now I have the best director, best male directors. Uh, those are Sam Mendes for 1917, not Shawn Mendes. Christopher Nolan for Tenet. Taika Waititi for Jojo Rabbit. Ryan Johnson for Knives Out. And David Fincher for Mank. That's no surprise here. No. no. <laughs> And, All very good there. Um, the best move, the best picture. We're doing everyone. Every mm -hmm. is no. You know how we're yeah. doing. <laughs> good. I don't know how to say it in English. What the fuck? Okay, drum okay. roll. Good night. Um, now best picture of the year, and the nominees are Uncut Gems, Tenet, Sound of Metal, Trial of the Chicago Seven. Wait, uh, oh, yeah, I must hear more. Genau, sorry. Uh, Jojo <laughs> Rabbit. 1917. Little Women. Knives Out. Berlin Alexanderplatz. And The Assistant. That's right, and I got two masks here. So on the, on the first one is Uncut Gems, The Assistant, Tenet, Berlin Alexanderplatz, Sound of Metal, and then the other one is The Tribes of Chicago 7, Knives Out, Jojo Rabbit, Little Women, and 1917. I have to separate it these two but they all got a nomination and the only surprise is that the assistant got a nomination for best picture yeah a pleasant surprise though yeah it's a very very I, good I movie and that's the nominations for the third annual scene talk awards um thank you for watching this and the um the award show will be starting at the 5th of february at i i think 18 o'clock um roughly and probably. i hope you liked it i know my english was very bad but i'm learning no, it was great and um we'll see you next time goodbye and watch movies please watch a lot of them yes <laughs> bye bye bye